All right, if this doesn't work, my $150 ticket that I just bought isn't worth it here at Hollywood Studios or Disney World. Let's see if this works. Like to see all these crowds leaving. It's a holiday week here at Disney World and I'm trying to beat the crowds, except I had to buy a $150 ticket to do so. Today we're at Hollywood Studios for after hours to hopefully get on every single ride here at Walt Disney World. Now I am technically showing up a little bit late, but I am on time as the event doesn't officially begin until 9.30 and it ends all the way at 12.30. We have three hours of an extra paid event here tonight. Now you can enter Hollywood Studios as early as 7 p.m. I didn't want to take advantage of that just because it's so darn crowded here. I encourage you guys to do so, but I want to do so, but I want to see if I can actually get on every single ride here tonight in just the three hours that the event says it is. So I'm gonna head on over here all the way to the right to check on in for the after hours and and get grooving. All right, I officially got my band. Looks like it is red tonight and I'm like the only one entering at this time. Again, you should probably come on in at seven, but look at everybody leaving. This is what we want. This is what we need. And it looks like this is what we got. We officially have about 20 minutes until the event starts. Everything is hopefully gonna be a walk-ons. This is one of my favorite events to come to of all the parks. I mean, every single park has after hours. We'll get to every single one of them. It just isn't every single day. I encourage you guys to go look up the dates and we'll see if it's worth it. I always think it's worth it. I love the after hours, but it could be different because today is a good test because it is a holiday week and also a marathon week. So there's a lot of people coming on here. So it's gonna be a good way to judge it. Here's a look at what they gave me upon entry. Just saying that you, what merchandise is open, what characters or experiences are going to be there, and then what attractions are gonna be open. Pretty much every single one of them is open just at a quick scan here. It actually doesn't, oh yeah, Star Tours is open. So everything besides the shows is good to go. And then the food and beverage, I haven't talked about this yet. Included in the, the $150, mine was $150 because I had an AP, an annual pass discount. It usually kind of runs $175 per person if you do not have an annual pass. But popcorn, soda, ice cream, all included with your, with your purchase. And it's a good thing before I came on in, I actually took a screenshot of the wait times because they pulled the wait times down at nine o'clock because that's when the park closes and then it begins at 9.30 for the extra ticketed event. Here's the wait times. It was very crowded here today. Considering we have these major waits on these attractions, even at night, is just justifying on how tonight hopefully is gonna be a good test for this, this event. You know, this is the busiest time one of the busiest times at Disney. As you can see, there's a lot of people leaving, which is what we want. And we also want the walk-ons. We gotta get on as many rides as possible. I'm gonna head all the way deep into the park. I'm gonna go to Falcon, or we're gonna try to get there before 9.30, and then we can get running and walking on these rides. After all, we did buy this ticket to walk on tons of attractions. I don't even think I said it. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Let's hopefully have a good night here. I love this event. Hopefully it's as good as it has been in the past. Let's see what it's like in 2024. I will say this is a, a good start. Not too many people in this area, although the only places over here is just dinner and places to eat. So you don't really expect a lot of foot tra traffic over here. Real quick, comment down below if you guys intend to do these after hours at every park or Hollywood studios or if you have done it before. I want to see if they have the wait times on the screen. Nope, they pulled these down too. Hopefully they have these up during the event if it's going to be crowded, but I'm hoping that everything's going to be walk-ons. It's also a really cold night out tonight. What is the temperature? It's 54 degrees. That, that's chilly with no sun. I have three pairs of socks on. I have jeans on. I have a sweatshirt with a hood because I feel like my ears are going to get cold. It's just going to be one of those nights that you need to bundle up. I don't know why. There we go. My face wasn't focused for a second there. Quick little glance. Love to see a whole empty area with not a lot of foot traffic. And I believe they are still letting in the tractions. Meaning if you're wearing the band that I have, the After Hours band, they let you on in there checking. So if you're just a guest within the park in the normal hours, you can't enter. I've kind of got a feeling that we're gonna be able to get every single ride here tonight. Like the video if you have faith. I'm also using my new camera lens, so hopefully you see a little bit more of an increase 
of quality here at night, which I think you guys can, hopefully. I always like how these palm trees look at night. It's just so stunning in front of ABC Commissary. Oh my goodness. Like, look at how good this looks. But that's not what I was talking about. We actually have a new booth that has opened at Hollywood Studios that I haven't had the time to come and visit. Always odd seeing Baseline very empty. However, they close, I believe, an hour before park close. I love this bar. However, Hydraulics has now opened here at Hollywood Studios. We'll check it out next time we're here. I want to try it and let's take a look at the menu here. Oh, this is nice. We always like some more seating area, but it's like a Coca-Cola stand. I think the only thing I saw that was different was like the bounce 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 mini churros, candy paint and cinnamon rolls, mini churros, and then pretty much everything looks the same unless I'm reading it wrong. You know, my fingers are actually getting a little cold. I should have worn some gloves. I think it's gonna get down to maybe the low 50s. That's chilly. That's chilly if you, if you live in Florida, you, you'll definitely agree with that statement. Since I'm showing up late, I feel like the best strategy is to go on the ride that I think is a walk-on, which is Falcon, and let the rides that actually still had the actual park guests still utilizing the line dwindle on down while I'm going a walk-on, and by the time I get off, everything should hopefully be a walk-on for us. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can read that. Let me make it so you guys can. It's actually 30, mi 30 minutes for Rise, so we should be good tonight. However, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that and hopefully get a walk-on. Think about this too, there's an after hours here at Hollywood Studios when you're on your, 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 your vacation. It's, isn't it this technically cheaper than a park ticket or like a park hopper? 150 if you're an AP or like 170? Then you get on the rides really quick? Something to think about. Doesn't look like every Coca-Cola stand is gonna be open here tonight. Probably just some select ones around the park. To the Falcon we go. I feel like I can tell a big difference in my, my camera lens. Just better glass if you're wondering. Shooting on the Sony G Master 16 to uh, 35. Well, I wonder if everybody else had the same strategy that I did. Falcon's a 25 minute wait, but I forgot I can use the single rider line. So I'm gonna start this challenge a little bit earlier. We have about 10 minutes till the, to the start. Cheating here a little bit. I can see the line kind of starts right there. So it's not too bad. I forgot to show my wristband. I thought it was like a, a regular day, but we're going through the single rider line. The challenge starts now. I'm willing to bet that there's probably not any other single riders at all. Hello. Look at this. Usually this area is so full. It's so nice seeing the Falcon when it's actually like viewable because they use this as a queue basically to position other flight crews. All right, there we go. One ride done. Seven more to go. In three hours, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. It's always pretty odd. Like sometimes when I have this hallway to myself, I feel like some character is just gonna walk in and scare me. Like Darth Vader just pops out. That would be terrifying. Like I'm the only one here right now. Whew, there's some other people. I'm starting to get worried there. 
Now it's officially 9.30, so this is when the event starts. I wanna see if they have the wait times posted on the app. As of now, they do not. 9.31, not posted. So it's kind of like a shot in the dark. We're gonna go to Rise. Hopefully Rise went down. Probably not too much, but I think it's still gonna be a walk on for us. See, a part of me wants to say, have a chill day at your hotel, wherever it may be, and then do an after hours and get the whole park done pretty much with nobody here. It's the beauty of the after hours. But I wish they had posted on the app, the wait times, because I think this is a 30 minute. So it went down five minutes, it wasn't at 35? This is still fine. Let's go on. Any guesses on how long this is gonna take? I think we're gonna walk pretty much up to the front. It was funny too, because upon entry, one of the cast members was like, oh, go buy a backpack, because then you can, <laughs> you can take home as much soda as you want. And I'm sure there's people who do that. I mean, you guys can do it if you want. I'm not a soda drinker, but you can even stock up on ice cream if you wanted to. Ooh, the line's all the way right here. Not what I thought was gonna happen, honestly. Wait times just came up five minutes late. Park is pretty nice. Slinky with the highest wait time. We are gonna be on in like, five minutes because we stop for like two seconds and just keep rolling through. I love this event. Ground crew, deck is in motion. Recruit crossing to transport. Hey BB-8. I don't think I've ever seen those engines do it at night or I haven't really showed you guys. A bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. Resistance sympathizers, this ship is out of the command of the First Order. You get a disembark into your interrogation, so get out now. <laughs> Let's go. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now... You are program to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't We'll try not to. For your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the What about you? Are you coming? Are you coming? No? Right behind it, okay, okay. It's a prisoner transfer. It's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the ghost of the prisoner. We have a ranger to touch in lock three. I don't know. I don't know where it is. All right, total wait time on that bad boy. 35 minutes to go through the whole thing. It's 10.05, still basically have two and a half hours to get on, what did we add, six more rides? And wait to see the park. See, my strategy is to not go to Slinky Dog right now. 60 minutes, that's gonna be like pretty much my last ride and hopefully it will be a walk-on for us. Tower is a walk-on right now. Surprisingly, there's more uh, people here than I thought, and I, I wonder what character's over here. Jasmine is actually right here in the corner, and I actually spot 
a few other characters. Tiana is going to be here as well, too. So just a heads up. We have Jasmine and Tiana near the entrance of Galaxy's Edge. However, though, to my surprise, there is more people here. Oh, it looks like the hydraulics is open, but I believe they're just handing out like the free ice cream, free popcorn. We got some characters over here as well. We have Mary Poppins and the Penguin here. But uh, we're gonna be probably the only one going on Star Tours. I think it's open. It should be. It just no one's in. No one's in line. So let's go do it. I don't think this is on a lot of people's after hours. But I'm uh, trying to do every ride. I just asked the cast member. I was like, "Did anybody go in front of me?" And she said, "Not for a while." So I'm quite possibly going to be the only person on this ride. And if you think about it, that's kind of funny. I potentially will be the only one on Star Tours. Still no one behind me. Why are so many people going to Tatooine today? I only have four and everything else is completely empty. Not cool. That's me, let's go! That was the Rebel Spy! <laughs> Dude, we were the rebel. Oh, look at my teeth. That was fun. I don't think anybody else is getting off. Yeah. We were like the only flight. That was hilarious. Feeling a little bit queasy after that one, but Star Tour. So, we're gonna go on to Tower. And then I think I'm gonna get a snack at the end of the night because it's like a reward, you know? Looks so empty. You usually have no room in this store. It's very enjoyable when there's like nobody here. I mean, it's still enjoyable, but like, you know, extra enjoyable. You have walking room. Wow, this is as close as you're going to get to being a cast member. You used to be a cast member here, and this is what it feels like leaving studios at night. Oh my goodness, is that Duffy? I'm FaceTiming Casey right now because she's gonna wanna see Duffy. Look who I found. Yeah, it's Duffy. Cool, right? Didn't expect that. Also, I'm vlogging you right now. Not a single, well, okay, there's like people in line, but that's nice. We got Chip and Dale here as well. We've got Daisy, but no Donald? Hey, Daisy. I actually see a pretty darn rare character in Time Out. This is like way better than Jollywood Nights, meaning remember how the characters had such long lines? Probably the rarest character here tonight is from Alice in Wonderland. Right over here. Rabbit is here. I think the last time I saw Rabbit was, wasn't he at Run Disney? Just such a joyful event, and they actually don't have the wait time. Oh, there's another character over there. What the heck? Oh my gosh, they have characters everywhere. I gotta get them before they go, because I don't know if they're here all night. But just to the left and right of Mickey and Minnie's, we have Pinocchio right there. I'm gonna shoot him from a distance here. And then we also have Rafiki. <laughs> Rare characters. I'm gonna obviously keep my eyes open for more as we go on through the night, but that might be it, unless some are eaten by Tower or Toy Story. Toy Story Land. We're doing really good on time as well. It's only 10.30. Still have two more hours to go. I feel like I don't have to rush, which is, I feel like, not the norm when you come to Disney. I mean, look, we've got a very empty Sunset Boulevard. Custodial's blowing bubbles. <laughs> That's all our big bubbles do. Now normally there would be two rides down here, but Tower of Terror is the only one operating. Rock and Roller Coaster is still down for refurbishment until pretty much this summer. So with that, let's enjoy a 13 minute wait 
for Tower of Terror, it looks like, look at this, no line for popcorn or the soda. They actually have it set up, set out so you can just come and grab. We'll check that out. Actually, let's do that after. But if you guys could do me a favor real quick, go ahead and comment down below how this new lens is looking. Um, I'll probably be able to tell in post, but it's always good to get your guys' opinions as well. Here we go. Tower of Terror. So with that, say it with me, everybody. It's a walk-on, baby. That is beautiful at night. When you go to these events, it's hard to go back to regular Disney because this is such a spoiled night. Zero weights. I'm curious to see what the boiler room looks like with this new lens because sometimes it's pretty fuzzy. So this is just a test. I don't think it's gonna be much better. It's just a really dark room. Although maybe it will surprise me and it'll look better. Seat belts, they go on left to right, left to right only. Your bags, place them at your feet. Your loose articles, keep a hold of them because I do not want them. And we shall be on our way. just what kind of vacancy you're filling, or you may find yourself a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. All right, well, let's actually just go check to see what they have for free here. Obviously, we got the popcorn here. That is a must. We got Mickey ice cream bar, and then the sandwich, which is my personal favorite, and here's everything that they have for free as well, the drinks. Well, we have an hour and 45 minutes left to get on at four rides. Very doable, and then we'll get a reward, an ice cream bar, and definitely some popcorn. I did just find a strawberry ice cream sandwich or the ice cream bar. I guess it really depends on what they have in stock at each different stand. I mean, this is just turning out to be an incredible night. We got Mickey's as a five minute wait, but Slinky did just go down. So that is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully we'll be able to get on that. That comes back on up. Let's head on Mickey's real quick. Oh, Stitch is out now. Oh, we got, no way, Stitch, and then Jiminy Cricket. What? That's so cool. Well, I'm glad I, I filmed Pinocchio over here before. Lines seem to be busier over here by Mickey and Minnie's. Got a lovely 10 minute wait here. Don't mind if I do. I just really love these events. I don't think we're gonna see any characters in Toy Story Land. We'll, we'll see, but it looks like they actually have the wait time screen working here. For real though guys, if I was personally you and I didn't have an annual pass, I would chill at the hotel all day, then come to Hollywood Studios at night, kind of use it as like a rest day and a park day at night. 
I mean, you see how effective I'm getting through this whole park and no one's really here. And this is one of the busiest times of the year. This year, for sure. But not a lot of people bought it. So the more you know, and Slinky still is down, unfortunately. Hope that comes back up for us. See the work lights are on, you see that? Good thing for us, we got another line. What is this? It's a random rope. We're gonna go on uh, Toy Story Mania. It's a lovely 20 minute wait. But before that, I want some ice cream. Strong opinion, so much better than the Mickey bars. Or sorry, yeah, the ice cream bars. The sandwich is so much better. Oh. Not even for comprehension, it's so much better. I love it. Also, you see how the background's blurred out? No. It's a new lens. No. I kind of like it. Also, this is really cold on a cold night. Let's just like change it up and have hot chocolate at night. <laughs> Cass is extra playful tonight, you see that? Hey, it's very hard for me to not play this game because I'm competitive, so I'll catch you in a few. I'd really love to meet these people who get 555 Who are you? Seems like Toy Story Land is the place to be to get all the water and snacks. This is, they have three of these here. Also, Slinky Dog Dash is not showing any signs of coming on back up. Kind of disappointed, but that's the risk we take on doing at the end of the night. So if you want to get on Slinky, maybe make it your first, even though it's a pretty long line. What a sight to see. We've got one more ride here. I don't think Slinky's gonna open. Alien Swirling Saucers, it's a walk on, baby. I always like this end of the park because it's really quiet. They pump in like the, the crickets. It's a small little touch, but it makes it actually kind of feel like a backyard. Quietest part of Andy's backyard. I mean, I, I think we've had a heck of a night. It's a perfect event, perfect event. You should definitely take advantage of it for sure. I feel like a lot of you guys know that, but I feel like a lot of you guys also don't know that. See if you look at over there, Slinky isn't even operating. Bummer, they might even have an evac, you see that? Time to get some popcorn. Except these are all drinks. Boop. Slinky's still down. And then I'm gonna grab some Dasani to go. Looks like the characters go pretty much all night. That's good to know. I think with that, everyone, that's gonna conclude our night. Wait, right, how cool is this? The one and only Mickey Mouse is here to say goodbye to us. <laughs> Wait a second, I, I think he's a free Roman Mickey. I think he just wanders down Hollywood Boulevard. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Usually, characters, oh, okay, he's, he's staying here. <laughs> that's so cool. Like, when do you, see, when else do you see Mickey Mouse just kind of chilling here saying goodbye? I love that. This was a great event. Good job, Disney. 20 times better than Jollywood Nights. And I, don't, I, I think it's like, what? It's probably more expensive coming here than Jollywood Nights. I don't even know, but this was a great, great event. All I can say is I cannot wait to do the other after hours at Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Magic Kingdom, because that was great. That was amazing, worth every flippin' penny. The only ride we didn't get to do is Slinky. Still down, but um, wow, 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 wow! If you can, you can do this on your vacation. Trust me, worth every penny. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and that was it for your daily dose. I am tired. I'm gonna go home and edit this video. See you guys.
Bye bye. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Go pack go. <laughs>